Okay, so now that I've had this um, Senna pinned, I could take a look at some of the problem areas to take care of the initial sanding. So I'm going to take her apart first. Just carefully pull things apart. off the base great about resin kits is or resin figures are that you know there's so few parts that I have to worry about working on this is a whole part which I might actually just glue this together I don't see a purpose for having this separated now this is just sticky tack that I've used to temporarily hold this kit together or this piece anyhow let's use this is useful for masking and all sorts of other things I use it a lot when I'm test fitting because it's it's great to hold things together while you get the general look of how you want things set up Let's look at something basic like the leg. Now the ways these uh, kits are usually cast is done with uh, probably a two-part mold. And if you look closely, you can see that there's a little, there's a little mold line right there. And this is probably where the two pieces, you know, two mold pieces came together like this. And um, you see that there's a line that runs down through here. Uh, if I move it around in the light, you can easily see that line. One of the tricks you could do is, when you do find this line, is you take a little marker, a sharpie or something, and draw along that line. Let that dry. And then you can still you can see the line a little bit better. Now I have a stack of different sanding tools. Um, this is what I use a lot for when I'm building Gundam kits. Uh, it's got a nice flat surface. The problem is if I use this on here, I might flatten. You know, this is a you know, this is a curved surface. So as I sand, it's gonna flatten that out. I don't want that to happen. So. I'm going to use this 100 grit you know, sanding pad that's got some flex to it. I'm just going to run this over the part. And keep in mind this is just the initial sanding stage. And I say initial because if you look at the you know, resin, it's very, very white. Um, a lot of times you're not going to see the little defects, possibly pinholes and whatnot. If the resin is just like this white color. So I'm just lightly wiping it, really. Getting rid of all that marker. Now, when it comes down to some of these detail areas where 
you know, there's, there's obviously a wrapping of some sort. I can come in here with a file, which I have several different files. I'm gonna look for the appropriate file blade, and I could come in here and kind of reshape that a little bit. Re redefine those lines, so to speak. So in the case where I might have sanded a little too much, or sanded too close to this, I could re refine that with my with the file. Now again, you have to be careful what the file is because there's hard flat edges. You don't want to file down too much, otherwise you're gonna flatten up the surface. Another tool I have here is called a flexi file. And this is a strip of sandpaper and you get this to conform to the surface like so and get your sanding done like this. You can see that I'm constantly moving this back and forth so the light just hits where that line is and I'm gonna continue sanding to make sure that line goes away. Always check against the light and move it around a little bit. Now some of these fold, folded areas are a little hard to get to when you're sanding. So what I generally like to do is I, I like to use a hobby knife to kind of get in there and scrape that line. Sometimes if it doesn't work well, I would recommend using one of these files, this would be fine, and go in and finally get rid of those mold lines. Now to keep from sanding it too flat with my with my file I'm constantly moving the part side to side I'm gonna use this because this is a little bit rough for a lower grit so I could take off a little bit more resin and you have to be careful here when you're using something like this that's because it's gonna take off too much resin if you're not careful so again I'm just using it a couple of swipes. Now, mold line is going to go all the way across this detail here. So I'm going to take this, this you know, pointed edge or sharp edge and kind of sand that down along the line. Then I get rid of that mold line as well there. This is the first time I've worked with a kit from Quest Q. I believe that's the name of the company that produced this. Not necessarily a sculptor, but the, the producing uh, company. And I find that, you know, mold lines are fairly small. Now I'm coming in with a 320 grit, which is, you know, very fine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth out where I sanded. 
And once I do this, this shouldn't do too much damage to along this. You see that this is kind of lost some of the definition. So I'm gonna take a let's see here. Do I have a? I have kind of a triangle bit here. Let me come in here and rescribe that out in detail. Now these files are pretty sharp, so they'll cut in decently. I'm just being, I'm trying to be careful when I'm doing this. Now you see that before this line was kind of blurred, and now it's a little bit more defined. Let me do that same thing here. I'm gonna find. find my line I want to follow and carefully just run it along there to kind of redefine it a little bit again resin is very very soft material so it's easy to go overboard it's barely, I'm not using too much strength when I'm doing this I'm just kind of guiding it along and just rubbing it lightly you see that's you know Redefined a little bit. This bottom bit area here wasn't too bad, but a little couple of swipes should help fix that. I could run this or look at this along in in the light to see if I think you can still see a little bit of the, of the mold line here. So I'm going to take the sanding pad and lightly rub this. And notice I'm turning the part upside down, right side up, and all sorts of angles because it helps me check against light in different directions to make sure that mold line is really gone. Come in with my 320 and sand away. The 320 is mostly polishing this up. So usually if there's a low mold line that runs down this way, there's a mold line that runs down here and you can see that right there and right here a little bit so same process on this side use the various sanding tools I have to get rid of that line Coming back to my sanding, I'm going to clip off this extra excess piece of flash right here. Now, what I should do as opposed to using the clippers is sand this piece of flash down. This resin is so soft, it will sand away pretty quickly. 
Now the problem I have with you know cutting these uh, this excess away, um, resin is also you know kind of delicate that you might chip some of the resin or cut away too much of the resin and you lose some detail on the part. But I'm going to be careful here. I'm kind of turning this around so I don't make a flat surface where the curve of her hips are. I'm just using the tip of the sanding stick and slowly sanding away the excess, the mold line and the, the excess resin. Now if I move this in the light, I can still see that, you know, the, the resin or the the piece of flash is still there. Now I can also run my finger across it, and if I catch on anything, I know that the I definitely know the flash is still there. So there's a couple of swipes. That's pretty smooth. And then I go in with less or a higher grit. I'm going polish. Now notice I'm sanding in a circular motion this way and I'm moving this side to side so I'm not sanding constantly in the same spot. This keeps it fairly smooth. I could look at this at different angles and we see that the mold line is still here but up here it's pretty much gone. You see that it's also along her panty line. That's going to be a kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. But if I get my trusty um, files, I can get rid of that fairly easily. Now another trick is to take the hobby knife and scrape that line away. The problem I have with this method is you know flatten out the surface. So let's run along this. I'm gonna take another look at this. Still, I still see a little bit of the, let's see if I can get a smaller square piece, or this might work. That looks like it's still there. <laughs> now this takes a bit of patience because you don't want to go in and completely sand everything away. Okay, that looks like it's getting close to being gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and sand the rest of this mold line away.
still see a little bit of mold line right here and down here a little bit so over there That's pretty much gone and I go ahead and polish with the 320 Decently smooth. You can see where the mold line is no longer there, and the mold line is still along this edge here.